Welcome to this boot camp video and this is all about Lua functions and we're just going to take a quick look at uh, what is a function. It's basically a block of code that performs a spe specific function. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to use the same word in the definition of the word. Um, it performs a specific task. We'll go, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, typically you pass a value in to work with, not always though, and sometimes you pass something else back. Now here's an example of a function called add to score, and you can see that we pass in num. So we're going to be passing in, and I'll show you how to, how to pass something in. We're going, to be, we're going to be giving it a number, and it's going to do something with it. And here we can see that it does score equals score plus num. And there's this, just from the variable uh, lesson that we saw just a minute ago, a minute ago, score is a variable, num is a variable. All it's doing is taking score and adding it to the number that we passed in. Then it's doing some other stuff here, which basically we won't go into at this point, but it's writing some, it, it, it's showing the score on the screen. So we have a function here called add to score. So at any time during my program, I can put the code in, add to score, and then in parentheses, a number. And it will add that number to the current score and show it on the screen. When you call a function, you can call it with or without parameters. So for example, here's, here's something called show level. If we, if we called the function show level, it would do something and it's going to do it based on some other things, not based on anything that we passed into it, a parameter. If we were wanting to show a specific level and we had our function written that it was expecting a level number, then we might have a variable called cur level, the current level. And we set the current level to four or whatever. And then we pass that into show level. We call the, the show level function by typing in show level, open parenthesis, cur level, and close parenthesis. You can also assign a function result to a variable. So you can, you can pass things into a function, uh, and sometimes some functions, depending on how you code them, they'll pass a value back. So here's a little chunk of two lines of code. We set the variable my name to j, and then we're going to pass it into a function called get age. So get age, and then we're passing in my name. Whatever comes back, we're putting in the age. So of course, the function called get age takes the name that you pass in, it says, oh, we have J here, and then it's going to do a database lookup or, or whatever it is and find out, oh, J is this many years old, and it passes that back and it gets assigned to the age variable. So again, let's take a look at that, how it works in real Lua. So in Outlaw or CPM, go again under Tools, Plugins, Lua Scratchpad, and we'll just take a look at that, that uh, print function first. Local, and just like variables, functions can be local or global. And it's always a good idea, unless you have to make them global, make them local. It's memory issues that we won't get into right now. But local function, the name of this function is print, and we pass in a parameter called s. Okay, inside of this, well, let's actually, let's just jump down here. So we're doing print, and we're passing it in answer. Now we've got the variable named answer and we're passing it in here. Where's answer up here? Answer doesn't exist up here. Basically, uh, at this point, once you jump into the print function, this is now the name of the variable that's been passed in. So anywhere inside of this function here until the end, the variable s is what is is equal to whatever was passed in. So all of, all this function does is it calls um, the io.write library and it, it does a two string, there's another function, there's a function inside of a function, two string s, which basically takes whatever this variable is and turns it into a string so that it can uh, then concatenate, remember that thing we did, concatenate to a slash n. Now slash n is a special kind of character. It's actually a new line character and that's what allows us to click like this. We run this several times and we get each on a new line. If we didn't have that there, uh, it would do this. Okay, so all we're doing here is uh, doing a new line character just so that our, our print function works well. All right, let's make a uh, another little function here. Local function who is cool. And we're going to be passing in a name. 
we'll just call it n. Now let's go ahead and make a message, local message, that's a, new, a variable called message, equals n concatenate with is cool that too. Okay, so message equals n, so whatever we passed in, and then concatenated with is cool, that's who, and then we will print message. And we will end this. All right, so let's see. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get rid of this. And now to call this function, we just do who is cool and we pass it in. Hope there's a Bob taking this course. Who is cool, Bob? Let's go ahead and run this. Bob is cool, that's who. Hope there's a Sally taking this course. Sally is cool, that's who. All right, see, uh, okay, let's see. Local my name equals Ferdinand. So instead of hard coding that parameter, we set my name. Who is cool? My name. Run that. Ferdinand is cool. That's who. Okay. And let's do one more thing. Let's say um, let's say that this doesn't print it. Let's just say it returns return message. Remember, I talked about you can pass a parameter in, and that's what this is. And it can also return a value. And that's what we're going to do here, return message. So it's going to return this variable to us. Uh, if, we, if we run this now, it'll still run, but nothing happens because it's returning the message, but we're not ever printing the message out. So we need to, let's see, let's do um, local answer equals who is cool my name. We can run that. Still nothing happens. We have we have this the sentence that's been put together in the... In the uh, in the answer variable, but we're not doing anything with it yet. So let's finally get down to it and print answer. Run this. Ferdinand is cool, that's who. Lola. Lola is cool, that's who. All right, so there you go. There's uh, some examples of, of parameters, pass or uh, functions, passing parameters in, passing parameters back. And uh, functions are your friend, and we'll be using them a lot in the upcoming lessons.